Whether you're running your favorite game or maybe some software, and you just want to launch it from a desktop icon, just like Windows. It's very easy to create one. So all you have to do is double click on it and uh, it will start up. As a matter of fact, there's a couple ways to configure it, a naming convention and that. Uh, and how you can save that so the next time you boot, that icon is there for you to use. Okay, it may seem like a simple thing, but you can add desktop icons to the Atari just like you can in Windows. For example, here's uh, the original Civilization uh, with its icon there on the desktop. So I clicked on it to highlight it, and I'm going to come down here and say remove icon, so we start clean. Now, much like in Windows, if you want to install a program icon, you go to that program, you find it, and you're going to go use that location in order to uh, install the icon. So here's Civilization, the original one. I'm going to scroll down here till I get to the PRG file, which is simply named Game. And if I say install application, that doesn't work. And I'll cover that in a later video. But for right now, that doesn't do anything for your desktop. But if we go over here and we, again, same place, uh, we come over here and we say install icon. Now, there we have the icon named Game PRG. And nothing happens. It just says it's installed, but you don't see it. For most games, not necessarily applications, all you do is you browse here and find your PRG file like we did. Click and hold it and drag it to the desktop and boom, there it is. So once that's there, you just can't come up here to options to do whatever options you want up here. You have to first uh, come over here and say highlight the program and then come up here and say install icon, even though it looks like it's installed. And there we have it, game program. Now I'm going to rename it, and let's make it Civilization. Again, it's the first uh, release of Civilization. So I can choose an icon shape, and most of them are simple uh, things. Here, floppy disk, uh, other things, printer. But I'm just going to use a regular program icon, uh, this one right here, and say OK. And there it is, Civilization. Now, unlike uh, Windows and things like that, once you put it up there, it's there forever. Uh, we have to save this desktop in order for that icon to remain there next time we boot. So let's do exactly that. Let's go ahead and reboot uh, the application. And this is the emulator, by the way, the Steam emulator for Atari ST. And uh, it takes a bit to load up. Uh, Normally, I would speed this up, but yeah, it has a boot process. It checks memory. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it does a couple different things. And once it comes up, it reads whatever applications are there. And sure enough, there's a civilization icon installed on the desktop. If you've already installed one and it already has a existing name, you can do it here too by simply going back to the install option and going in there and start typing in the new name. Uh, and you can do it any combination you want. For example, it doesn't have to have a period. Here I'm putting in lowercase letters uh, instead of uppercase. I can have a space, whatever I want. I go here and there it is, uh, just the way I typed it. But you are limited to 12 characters. So let's go here to Empire Strikes Back. And if I uh, try to type an icon label in here, and I run out of room, I can play around with abbreviations until it's something I recognize or just like the, the format. Um, maybe. Emperor Strigbeck, whatever you come up with. In this case, I came up with the, uh, this. However, if you look at these, they don't look good in lowercase, so I prefer uppercase for everything. So I'm going to go back here and put it all in uppercase. Uh, much easier to read on the smaller screen. And I like this abbreviation the best. Okay, there we are. Empire Strikes Back. And don't forget, if you make one or multiple changes, don't forget to come down here to save your desktop. Okay, now, if you do that, when you reboot, so we'll reboot here, we'll see that since I did not save the desktop, when it does come up, all my changes are gone. I'm back to Empire Program, Pipe Dreams Program, you know, uh, Toss, whatever. So again, go ahead and uh, don't use those, but uh, install a desktop icon, and go ahead and make your changes. And then once you're done with all your changes, um, save it to your desktop. So with the ones I wanted, I click on OK, come over here, say, save desktop, don't, 
I'm good to go, reboot it, come back up, and sure enough, it saved all my changes. And of course, this is in the software itself, the Atari software. It doesn't matter if you're using the Steam emulator or the Atari emulator. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more, you can just click on subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.